Good evening, and thank you for joining us on this Aloha Friday, the 26th of June. After a long three months, the team at Adventist Health Castle said aloha to one of its patients this afternoon, a COVID-19 survivor released against all odds. But as Howard Dushevsky tells us, while his doctors are thrilled, he's still not quite ready to go home. It was certainly not the record Jack Dennis wanted to set. 88 days at Adventist Health Castle battling COVID-19, the longest hospital stay for the virus so far statewide. Today, with his wife by his side, the 72-year-old said goodbye to the team of healthcare professionals that saved his life. And actually, I'll, for his 88 days here, I have never taken a day off. So I've been here every day taking care of him, seeing him. And he is just a miracle man. I have never seen something like that out of any textbook that I have learned. A retired Honolulu Fire Department captain, Dennis was given a hero salute from fellow firefighters. His primary physicians, among those thrilled and amazed to see him leave. All the odds are stacked against him. Um, he's got a couple, I hope he doesn't mind me mentioning, he's got a few chronic medical conditions. He's over 70 and uh, came in in severe ERDS. And if you were to put up that all into a calculator, the chance that he would survive would probably be in the 10, 20 percent range. Dennis spent the bulk of his 88 days in the intensive care unit. His wife Donna says there were many dark days. In fact, the first two months because, you know, I, I couldn't come and see him. So I relied on the doctors and nurses to be my eyes and ears. And they were nice enough to put the phone next to his ear even though he was in a coma. And I would talk to him or they would, they would FaceTime, which is kind of hard to see him like that. But um, I, I talked to him and he, he told me later that he heard my voice. Even though Dennis checked out from Adventist Health Castle, his doctors say he's not quite ready to go home. His next stop, a rehabilitation center, where he'll continue to work on his recovery and his strength. I, I never sense any any despair or any any thought of giving up. He was just amazingly uh, resilient and he just believed that he was going to get better the entire time. This is totally worth it. This is exactly what we have trained, to, have been trained to do, and this is exactly what we want to see when most, and not all of our patients. Howard Dushevsky, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.